Hi, this is Eric. I just wanted to show you like a hands-free drive with new Tesla full self-driving supervised version 12.3.4. A couple quick notes for those of you that aren't familiar with Tesla. This blue line here and the, and the blue steering wheel there means the car is driving itself. I can override the acceleration with the foot pedal and you won't be able to see that in the camera footage, but I will tell you if I do that. So we get a little hesitation here, which is pretty typical for this. It's a car coming, but it's a ways back. I'm going to tell it to go up to 42. I can also override the speed limit. It pulled out in front of a car. It had plenty of time, but was a little close. Like if the car didn't accelerate briskly, they would have caught me. You should be able to see the mirror in the camera. The back window in this car is very small though. So yeah, again, as long as you see that blue curved line, the car is driving itself. You can see my hands here. have the camera positioned beside my head. I keep my hands ready to take over. But as you can see, I am not doing anything. I'll show you. This turn. Oh, we're going a different way to work today. Usually it turns there, but we're going to go the short way to work, which usually takes longer because there's more traffic on it. But. Oh, and it's made adjustments. It's turning on 5th Street instead of 6th Street, so that's interesting. When you see that blue show up above, it's just telling me to put my hands on the steering wheel. It wants to ensure that my hands are, you know, that I'm not sleeping or something. So this way is going to take me into a much heavier traffic way. Try not to hit the camera with my head. You'll see me wiggle the steering wheel every so often just so it doesn't hurt. He said usually it goes up to six, so it's change the routing a little bit. Meets an oncoming car here. It's fine. Hopefully we'll get something that's more interesting traffic. But. I have a yield sign not to stop. I'm curious what it does here. It didn't stop, but it almost Here it has oncoming traffic. My foot is ready. This is a pretty standard back way that people drive. Like I said, it's just the routing's never taken me on this particular one.
Now coming this way, it has trickier stop signs, so I'm curious how it does. I have to watch it pretty closely here. I have my foot over the brake now. We look totally clear. It seems like we've missed most of the traffic, so unfortunately, this drive is not going to be too particular. I haven't helped it at all yet. Not with the accelerator, not with the steering or brake. Now turn right onto 7th Avenue. Let's try to look at the screen. Okay, good. So it didn't do a second stop that time, so that was good. car accelerates pretty briskly. Now we're in traffic. Now, this is good that it takes First Avenue here because there's a couple bugs that'll have to override it on how it reads speed limit signs, making sure it's slowing down. It's slowing down late. It did though. It sometimes reads these business 151 routes as 15 mile per hour speed limits. And then that one but that's more of a mapping problem, so not really a driving problem. So whenever that blue banner appears up saying I need to steer, what I do is I just slightly rotate, put a little rotational pressure on the wheel. That's how it detects that hands are there. It would be better if it had dedicated sensors, but it doesn't. I'm curious if it's going to pass the slow car. driven itself. The only thing is it doesn't do yet is it doesn't do end to end so it won't park itself and it won't leave itself. You have to put it in drive. But if you try to leave from a parking lot or something it will try to figure out how to get out of the parking lot. not passing the slow car, but there's not necessarily room to pass it. The slow car also has a flat tire in the front. So it's leaning a little bit.
curious if they fixed the 15 mile per hour drop. It looks like they might have. There's one more spot that does it. Sometimes. So I'm going to override the accelerator a little bit. There, it went back to 35. Now turn right onto 35th Street Northeast. It doesn't just instantly slow down. It has some checking built in. But you notice I'm not touching the steering wheel there. And very smooth. Earlier versions were very rough. This is very smooth. It feels like a person driving. And the other place I'll have to take over is up here parking lot because it tries to go in the wrong entrance and you know it tries to park at the front gate and so that's not where I'm going so I don't know why it's going not going there I'm gonna override it because there's a truck behind me it would have gone shortly but there was someone waiting behind me so I, I pressed the accelerator It's not totally sure it doesn't go, of course. So I won't touch it here. This is a natural stop, and it went by itself just fine. And it'll handle this truck over here on the right just fine. I need to follow that truck that just turned into the parking lot, so I'm going to cancel it. It's telling me to go into that construction zone and turn in. There's another entrance that's in the construction zone, which is fine, but it's not the ideal way to go. And I'll show you that it'll park itself here, too, as long as there's no one behind me. I'll show you. Now right now, parking it only backs in, so I'll have to drive past the spot and have it back in. So someone behind me, I may not. Cars have done this part for quite a while. So there, car went into park. It's perfectly capable of driving end to end with, you know, it's not, it's not set up to do so quite yet, but it will be there soon. As you can see, I basically didn't touch the controls for the entire drive. Um, I'll show you one in heavier traffic later that does just as well in heavy traffic. It sometimes hesitates more, which could be a little annoying, but overall it does very well. Um, yeah, there's Tesla full self-driving for you. Things are going to change in the next 10 years.